Hello everyone, my name is Jamal Lisondra and today I'm gonna teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today I'm gonna paint uh, like a forest. So it will just be like a normal forest with some trees. Um, I'm, I'm gonna put a small stream or a river, something like that. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications of my new videos and tutorials. You can see the brushes, uh, the paints, and all the things that we're gonna need to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now. And I'm gonna do the underpainting first. Yeah, so here I will be using a big brush. Uh, by the way, everyone, if you, uh, first thing you're gonna need to do before uh, painting it directly here, you can add a little water, you can spray it with water so that it will become soft or it will be easy for us to, to drag our brush into the canvas okay so I have here the row umber yeah I'm gonna put the river in this part I'm gonna put a lot of rocks here big rocks there and then I'll try to put the underpainting. So blue, yellow, a little red there. Yeah. I'm going to make a darker background. Mostly it will be like greenish backgrounds. Greenish and yellowish. yellow with a little bit red more yellow yeah This only, uh, this is the first step I always do before I'm going to start the painting. I add the underpainting first. Also add some more yellowish, yeah. Just to make the paints uh, thicker, so I want everything to be thick. So I'm adding more greenish. to be thick and dark. There, so I'm gonna let it dry first for at least five minutes and can go back adding more details. Okay everyone, so I think the paint's already dry now and I'm going to start adding the details. So I will do a little more sketching and then uh, we can do 
uh, start the details okay so i'll be using a smaller brush i have here the number uh two nylon flat brush is smallest flat brush i have okay i have the row amber okay this will be uh, my river something like that but uh, i'm gonna put a lot of rocks there Yeah, let's put a lot of rocks big and small rocks I'm gonna put a lot of rocks. There. Okay. So we just have to sketch first. So that we will know what will be the look of our painting. Or we will know we'll have a guide. Something like that. There. Okay, so I'm gonna put the lights coming from this part. It will strike here, like that. It will be like the light on the top of the trees, like that. It will strike through here. Okay. And also try to put uh, some big trees here, like that. Maybe here, some big trees. And also here, I'll try to put some big trees. Okay. Now let's uh, start uh, to put more detail. So I will start on this part first before I'm gonna uh, do on the bottom part. I'm going to put some uh, something like uh, a sky there. You can still see the sky even though it's a forest. I will be using this uh, number eight nylon flat brush. It's a medium sized flat brush. And I have here a little amount of blue, thin white. Yeah, just more white everyone yeah, I can put I can do like that I can do like that. There. Okay. Okay. 
Maybe I'll just put uh, the other later. There. I will not try to mix a lighter uh, yellowish color. A light yellow. I'm going to put it here. putting some light green so I'll be using a bristle flat brush here I have a nine, number nine bristle flat brush I'm gonna mix for a light greens so blue and the yellow and then and then white okay so we can use the tapping technique. And also here. a little more darker greens so yellow blue and narrow umber again just a tapping technique everyone Just a tapping technique. Let's do more tapping techniques. Maybe I will put uh, some lighter. Or uh, some yellowish color here. Okay. 
there. So we just have to fix first entirely the background. And let's put some also light greens. And more yellow. And here. Some highlights also on the, on the trees. So these are just the part of the background everyone, uh, we will just cover it later on, there. Okay. There. Yeah, you can now see a little clearly those uh, details on that part and it will look like now some forest with a lot of trees. Just continue doing the tapping technique. Okay. I will also try to put more uh, darker colors or darker greens with the red. We just have to keep uh, everything here look busy everyone And now I will 
put some more holes there in the the, the bluish thing or the sky that we can see in the background I will put more so I have white and the blue there uh, this will also make uh, look like that the forest is hollow something like that Just uh, the same color with everyone. There. So at least uh, you can see now that that part of the forest is uh, not so thick, something like that. They can still see a lot of, uh, make it look like it's hollow, something like that. Okay, that's it. Now let's put some uh, uh, tree trunk. I have here the rue umber. You can put uh, white to put some light tree trunk. there and also here also some dark colors Okay, that's it. So we have now a lot of trees, but I want to put one big tree here that will do like that, like that. But first, I'm, I want to make, I want to lighten this part with some grasses. So 
I have here some light yellow. There. We have to put a little bit white. yellowish colors there okay and then a little bit brownish also or some orange something like that A bit greenish. I'll just put some some greenish also, everyone. You can use the topping technique. Okay, I will try now to put some uh, some trees. I'm gonna use this raw umber with some white. I want to put a white tree here. So to put another one. Or some brownish color also. Okay, there you go. And then another one here, everyone, I'm gonna put. Yeah. I will put a tree with a little lighter color. Maybe a little bit different tree. I'll also put one here. There. OK. 
Okay. Yeah. And yeah, here I'm trying to think everyone. Maybe just here. I'll just put one one branch. Okay. Now let's uh, put some details and highlights on these trees. So, yeah. Uh, the light, my light source is coming from uh, on the top part, right. I'll try to put some highlights, very white highlights here. Just uh, use the pure white. There. And then I will start now adding some dark tones or details here. some dark spots on these trees. Oh wait, I'm going to add first a little bit uh, darker shades. and just uh, make it a little circular stroke something like that there there and then you can put some dark spots or some dark skins there just use the raw umber everyone Okay. That's it. Another one here. Yeah. Okay. And then I will put 
uh, some branches. I will be using uh, this brush, uh, zero liner brush. On the branches, I will, uh, I will use a dark raw umber color. Usually the branches uh, have darker colors. go yeah we have now a very realistic uh, tree it looks like uh, birch trees there I want to put uh, some 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 what you call this uh, uh, leaves on there sorry bro. sometimes uh, uh, I got loading <laughs> okay so let's put some I'll be using the the basal flat brush I'll be adding some light uh, colored leaves there. I have here the blue and the yellow. Okay, I will put a little bit uh, yellowish and white. Here's the tip everyone, so they can have a stronger or much more solid colors. So here, let's put some some green leaves.
there and then I want to try to put more yellowish I'm gonna put a little bit white and yellow. Uh, this part that uh, you can see that uh, directly hit by the sunlight. Okay. There you go. Yeah, it looks good, everyone. It's just too simple and it looks good. Okay, so, so this one, I'm going to uh, make this one. I'm going to add some some details on this uh, tree. So I'll just put. I'll be using a smaller brush, number two, non pot brush. And again, I'll be using this blue umber. I'm going to put some tinier details, dark tones. Just create a horizontal details, everyone. Horizontal small strokes. There you go. And also here on the top. I want the top to be a little bit darker. There. I think it's raining everyone. I don't know. I don't know if we can still finish this one. So I'll just try to continue even it's raining. We're gonna put some branches. So I choose a darker color branch. There. Okay. Okay, that looks good. And then let's uh, put some, let's put some highlights. I'm going to try to put some more yellowish highlights there. Here on the sides.
there okay at least you can see now some few beautiful highlights yeah the tree looks beautiful okay and then you can put now some I want to put some uh, leaves one but I want it to be different or to be bigger uh, much more brownish something like that so I have here the raw umber the blue and the yellow a little bit brownish yeah Yeah, I want it to be a little bit darker, but I think it's not too dark. Blue and the yellow, and then the umber. This one. Okay, I want to put uh, a little bit orange, yellow and the red. You can just play a little bit with this color, everyone. Uh, greenish with a little bit orange, something like that. I want it. I want it to be looking like an abstract. not too much of it. I don't want to put a lot of things there okay and then I will try to put a little bit highlights So you can see that it's heating that part. Yeah, yeah. You can. You don't have to put a lot of things there, like the leaves. Uh, just a few like that, and you can create a beautiful, realistic effect. Of this, uh, this, uh, these uh, colors. Okay. I'm going to add more. I'm going to finish this part here. It's the last part. 
yeah I'll just use a darker branch or branches Then let's put some. Uh, I want it to be much more yellowish, uh, yellowish uh, leaves or reddish something. And then just use the one stroke, everyone. it one by one I can also put a lot more reddish. There, okay. And then you can add yellow. There, and then I'm gonna put some more yellow and then white. And then yellow more. Oops. 
So just put it on the top everyone. Undo the topping technique. There. Okay. Yeah, I think that's simple and looks good. Just uh, there's a lot of uh, leaves there and it looks good. It's too simple for me and it, it, uh, it doesn't look uh, bad. Okay. So now I'm going to proceed on the bottom part. Yeah, I'm excited to, to do the, the rocks there, something like that. Okay, that looks good. Yeah. Now everyone, uh, let's add details on the bottom part. I'm excited on this part here. So yeah, I'm gonna put some, uh, some, let's call this, uh, I'll try to put some rocks there, a lot of rocks. Okay. I'll be using a bigger brush, this brush. Uh, yellow and this white. I want this rock to be really bright. There, also this one. And I think everyone, I'm going to put some lights here on the top. But I'm going to do it later on. Okay. There. And then here I have some raw umber and white. First, let's uh, develop this one. And this one. Okay, and then I will try to put some uh, colors on the on the river. So I'll try to make it a uh, reddish. I want to put some darker umber. I didn't have here raw umber with the blue and the red. So this will this one will be will create a darker colors. So you can also use purple, dark purple. Instead of using I'm not using any black everyone, so that's why I'm just using these colors.
there. I can also use just one bar. Okay. Let's try to put some light, uh, light browns. So I have here the orange, yeah, with a little umber, and then white. I think more yellow. There, also here. So we can put some dried leaves there. So we can put the reddish or orange colors. Uh, these are some leaves here. There. And then you can, can use this more yellow yeah, to create some more lights here. this this part is so bright i like that i want i want to exaggerate some things there especially the highlights okay yeah, we have now a lot of rocks i will also put some brownish rocks with some more reddish color or maybe some more orange
also put some greenish everyone on the on the rocks A little bit lighter greenish. This one I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter. There, also here. So here Okay. So you can see now everyone, there's a lot of rocks there. It's, a, it's plenty full of rocks. Okay. So I will add more rocks. I'll try to So I'm mixing uh, dark green, uh, no, I mean dark purple, blue and blue and red, and then let's put some darks here. Yeah, let's put some some holes in the. in the rocks everyone
here. And I'll say I was trying to put some tighter details. Okay. I'm gonna put some holes also here. Okay, how does it look like now? Much more detailed and you can see that there's a lot of uh, colors there. So I also need to put some greenish on the top of the of the of the rocks. Okay, and also some green is here. I'm gonna also add some uh, greens like that, everyone, to look like that there's a lot of uh, plants also in this part. You can use the yellow and the white. Can I use some more yellow? To highlight some parts. Just yellow brown but also white. So yellow and then a little bit uh, white.
will mix orange I'll put it here Just to make, uh, to make it look like it's a lot of things there, everyone. There. Okay, that looks good. Yeah. It looks, uh, there's, there's really light striking on that part. Yeah. And then let's put some more. I'm gonna put more. I'm gonna put more rocks here. And I just want burn white. Just blend it. Just blend it, everyone. There. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to uh, add also here some dried leaves, everyone, especially in the bottom part. So I will be using this red and the yellow. There are some floating leaves. Okay, you can see now that uh, this part of the river has a lot of uh, red leaves there. Okay. I'm going to put rocks, everyone. I'm going to put some small rocks. So we just hear this color. There. 
ini binti surat Okay. So you can see now that there's a lot of frogs there. And in here, everyone, I'm going to put some lights here yeah we will just try to put some light greenish So just copy whatever you see in the background everyone Then I'll try to use some raw umber on the red or dark raw umber. Here, everyone, I'm gonna put some. There. Some casted shadows. Also here. And this one also. There. Okay, this you can see now some water reflections. Okay, it's now becoming much clearer. I'm gonna use this wamber.
There you go. Okay. Uh, white and the blue. I'm gonna put it here so you can see that there's a little bit on the sky as you can see here. And also here. Maybe a little bit bluish. There you go. Mostly brown, it's uh, greenish because the background is uh, mostly green there, so you can see more the green is here it's the reflection coming from the top you can also put some uh, light light greens something there okay uh, the the river now looks uh, realistic and beautiful we can also slowly put some reflections also we should not forget those reflections there that it will look like much more beautiful okay okay so I will put some darks here that you can on the especially on the inside the river. So here. Maybe some rocks. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. There. Okay. We can you can also you add some orange everyone. That's too light. Maybe a little bit darker. It's uh, uh we can let them see that there are plenty of rocks also on the bottom of the river. Like that. There. And then you can put now a little bit of reflections. A little bit yellowish. I'm gonna put reflection here. And also here.
there. It's becoming much more realistic now. Uh, everything becoming real. Okay. And now let's start to put some lights also in the water. Okay, so I'll be using this much more yellow and the umber everyone. It should be much more greenish and yellow. Now it should be much more orange. little bit tricky everyone because uh, yeah and then a little bit light lighter yellowish or greenish something like that bit tricky everyone but I don't know if it is uh, successful or not <laughs> yeah and also I need to put some highlights on the rocks so just light Also those uh, leaves, falling leaves. Okay. 
Another brand it doesn't look like or end up. Yeah. Yeah, wait everyone. I'm going to also put a little bit details on this. Uh, you need to exaggerate more on that part yeah but uh, for me it looks good for me it looks good everyone uh, i like it so i will uh, let you i will just retouch more on the top part maybe here i think i will put one more rock here or maybe some yeah maybe some uh, maybe one more uh, leaves here or something like that okay so I will be using a light green color. Yeah, just to cover that part. Try to use some yellow. There. Sorry about what the dogs. Yeah, I will try to put. Uh, tree there something like that or a tree trunk there okay so I'll try to let you see everything yeah I'll try to let you see everything yeah so I think it looks good I'm not sure if I'm going to put the sunlight there, uh, but I will just retouch everyone. I will retouch more. I will put more rocks, something like that. I am thinking of putting some sunlight here, but yeah. But I will put more rocks. Blue umber and then white. Maybe here I'll put more. And then I'll try to add some more lights. So here I'll try to add some more lights. There. Okay. And then I will add white everyone. some 
small uh, logs everyone or something like that maybe some roots there I'll put some light uh, here. Just to keep everything look busy, so I'm gonna put uh, a lot of things there. Okay, I think I am done. I'm thinking of adding here, but I think uh, I will not add it. I think I'm very content with this one, everyone. Yeah, I think for me, uh, this is good for now. And I will add later on what, uh, what I want to put here. Maybe if it will change my mind. Okay, everyone. So I want to say thank you for watching this video today. And I hope you get something out of this. And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors in palette because I want you to learn how to, know how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God be sure. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.